Jerry Seinfeld developed an interest in acting from an early age. By the time he returned eight years old, he put himself through rigorous comedy training. He had to watch television for days and nights to study the techniques of other comedians. Over the years, he would develop a unique style of comedy that centered on his wry observations of the mundane things in life. However, it wasn't so easy in the early days. When he worked up the courage to tell his parents that he wanted to be a comedian, they were confused. They asked him if he was funny. Undeterred, Jerry didn't lose sight of his love for comedy. It provided an escape from the harshness of the world. When he graduated from high school, Jerry encouraged himself by taking up odd jobs. He sold light bulbs, worked as a waiter, worked in a construction firm to pay his rent, and when he turned 21, he decided to follow his dream. So, he set forth for New York. Soon, Jerry Seinfeld successfully auditioned as an MC at the comic strip Live. There, he saw an opportunity to showcase his talent. He said, and I quote, I remember standing on the platform of the Long Island Railroad in Massapequa. That was the highest moment of my career. I was a comedian. I had made it. He wasn't being paid for the job. He was being fed leftover hamburgers and he lived in a filthy and moldy apartment. When Jerry Seinfeld first tried acting, he ended up being fired from the sitcom Benson after just three episodes. Jerry said nobody told him that he had been fired until it turned up for the read-through sessions for the fourth episode and discovered that there was no script for him. According to Business Insider, instead of feeling discouraged, the humiliation only encouraged Jerry to work harder on his stand-up act. His act eventually caught the eye of a Tonight Show scout. In late 1980, Jerry's first one-hour live special was aired live on HBO. From there, Jerry became part of the NBC roster, teaming up with fellow comic Larry David to create what began as the Seinfeld Chronicles. By the time the show reached its fourth season, it had become the most watched sitcom in America. Now, Jerry is currently one of the highest profile stand-up comedians in the US, with a net worth of over $267 million, thanks to his self-encouragement. Here's the thing. Most of life's failures are people who expect too much from the people around them. When you always need people around you to believe in you, when you always expect them to see your dream the way you see it, when you always need their encouragement and motivation, then you'll fail. Because people rarely believe what is invisible. The only people who succeed in life are those who know how to make themselves stand and fight without any external motivation. You don't know what you can do until you try. And Frank said, everyone has inside them a piece of good news. The good news is you don't know how great you can be. You don't know how great you can be, so don't expect other people to know what you are capable of doing. If they don't know what you're capable of doing, how can they ever encourage you to try? Jerry Seinfeld became successful because he pressed on despite several obstacles on his way. Encourage yourself to press on. Encourage yourself to keep trying. Encourage yourself to keep fighting. Calvin Coolidge said, Press on. Nothing can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. All rewarded genius is almost a problem. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Perseverance and determination alone are omnipotent. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next videos. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.